Yeah, so we've just published this uh, new paper in The Lancet HIV looking at uh, condom use and uh, PrEP uptake among gay and bisexual men in Australia. Now PrEP is uh, a daily pill you take to prevent HIV and we adapted our survey uh, system so we could monitor how quickly it was taken up but also its broader effect on the sexual practices that gay men uh, have. And what we've seen is a really promising uh, and rapid uptake of PrEP by gay and bisexual men in Melbourne and Sydney in particular, uh, which is really good. Like it f and it looks like uh, the guidelines that we have for um, PrEP uptake are being followed. So men at high risk of HIV have come forward in large numbers and, uh, and taken it. However, at the same time, among other men, we've seen uh, uh, a decline in condom use uh, among that, well, consistent condom use among that. And so... There are more men who are sometimes not using condoms with their partners and they're not protected by PrEP. So I guess one of the concerns we have is uh, those men who are not on PrEP, um, whether they will be at increased risk of HIV. And so that's one of the things that we're looking at in particular with the results of this. Our community partners, particularly in Australia, have been really actively involved in shaping the rollout of PrEP in Australia and so what we've seen is they've been promoting, explaining what it is and promoting it to um, gay and bisexual men who might benefit from it. That's been really helpful. But they've also been talking to gay and bisexual men uh, about the change in the way that gay men do HIV prevention, uh, particularly talking about the importance of carrying on using condoms if you're not using PrEP, uh, but also the beneficial effects of uh, HIV treatment in preventing onward transmission. So HIV positive men who take treatment consistently uh, can become sexually uninfectious to their partners. So those three things, condoms, PrEP and HIV treatment, are now being held up as the three kind of main ways that gay and bisexual men can prevent HIV. So our community partners here are already really actively involved in trying to educate the community about those three things. Um, that at this early stage of PrEP, roll out, it appears with this little this decline in condom use that we clearly have some more work to do in talking to guys who might benefit from PrEP. So what we'd really like to see now it's publicly available through the pharmaceutical benefits scheme that more men should come forward because they can talk to any GP about PrEP now or go to a sexual health clinic. We'd really like to see um, greater engagement so we get more coverage. Now internationally um, Obviously, you can't directly translate what happens in Australia overseas. In, uh, in the region, in particular in the Asia-Pacific, there are very large um, problems with HIV transmission among men who have sex with men in various countries which don't have such well-resourced HIV programs as Australia. And so there, we don't want the results of this to suggest that people should not consider PrEP or uh, greater intensification of prevention programs. PrEP can make a huge difference in the region if people get behind it and provide condoms and easy access to testing and treatment. And that's what we'd like to see in the region.